Hey, Sandy! Sandy! Yeah, yeah, what's going on, Derp, Sandy? This coming up Christmas, I'm gonna be going away for a little while. Oh, nice, dude. That sounds fun. Where are you going? To prison! For stealing your wife's heart! <laughs> What's going on guys? Sandy here and welcome back to some more Prison Architect. This is episode 2 and uh, dudes, last episode I asked you if you wanted a series on this game and good lord, once again, we got like over 100,000 likes in 24 hours. It, it was insane, but they, granted, at the same time, we got a crap ton of dislikes, but they, well, they, you know what they say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already done that joke. Anyways, <laughs> uh, dudes, I'm still gonna be playing this game. I really want to do a series on this game. It looks like a crap ton of fun. So, uh, what we have to do... Okay, so if you look in the top left corner, we get, uh, we get eight new prisoners. Oh, let me pause it. I don't, I don't want to run out of time. We get eight new prisoners in 23 hours. So in one day, we're gonna have to house eight prisoners and hopefully they won't escape. Okay, so if you remember from last episode, what we have to do is foundations. Um, we're gonna have to start with a basic uh, holding cell to hold all of our prisoners. Okay, so um, let's do eight, uh, nine. Yeah, let's do nine meters by nine meters. This is where our eight, uh, our eight initial prisoners are gonna be held oh uh, let's go to objects and we need to do we need to put in uh uh doors jail doors oh, i just messed it up dang it <laughs> uh jail doors like this uh okay there we go so this should be good enough to hold our eight prisoners okay so there we go the jail cell is done what we need to do now is uh let's go to rooms and let's designate this area as uh, the holding cell. Uh, there we go. Okay, what is this? Oh, yeah, failed. We need to give this thing a toilet <laughs> and a bench. Okay, let's go to objects. Let's go to toilets and let's throw. Uh, so we'll have eight prisoners. Let's do four toilets. Yeah, four toilets. They can share a toilet if they have to. <laughs> they can play swords. <laughs> oh, good lord. And we need to give this room a bench also. Yeah, okay, so let's... Okay, so there we go. We have our toilets. We have our benches. And now what we need to do is... Uh, it's asking for electricity and water. I remember this. Okay. Yeah, I guess let's just throw this up there. Uh, nine, uh, uh, by ten, nine by six? Yeah, nine by six right there. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Let, let me pause this. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Look at the workers. <laughs> they just go insane building. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need to throw in uh, a power source here and water right there. Okay. Now this sh yeah, I need to put a door into. Oh, good lord. We, we need a door. Let's throw a door right in the center. Okay, now this should... Now we need to connect it all with pipes, of course. Yeah, yeah, we gotta connect all of this with pipes. Uh, electrical pipes and water pipes. So they can, uh, so they can get water to the crappers. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We have electricity going to it and, uh, water. Okay, yeah, so there we go. This room is now lit up, and the crappers are working. Uh, okay, so we have 19 hours before the prisoners get here. Uh, what else? Can, what is this thing saying? Uh, there are no canteens accessible by this hall. Uh, oh, they have nowhere to eat. Okay, so now we need to make a cafeteria. Yeah, I guess let's throw the cafeteria... Uh, right back here. Oh, good lord. $3,000 to make this. And if you look up top, you see we only have $24,000 left over. Ah, do we want to make a big cafeteria like this? Do the prisoners deserve it? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I, I guess we gotta do it. They need to eat. We can't starve them. Okay, so there, there's that. Uh, now we need to give this... Uh, we need to give it a j large jail... No, let's just... Let's give it a small jail door right there okay so now the prisoners can get in and out um okay so we need to make a kitchen part 
and a cafeteria part. So I guess let's throw a wall right there. So this side can be where the cooks go and this side can be where the prisoners eat. Okay, so now we need to designate uh, this back area as the kitchen. Uh, there we- okay, so that's the kitchen now, and this front area as the- as the eating- the canteen. Not sure why it's called a canteen. Uh, okay, so what did the- what does this need? Uh, so the kitchen needs a cooker, a fridge, and a sink, and the canteen needs a serving table, a table, and a bench. Oh, look at these dudes! <laughs> This one guy is carrying a stove and he's carrying a massive fridge. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so the kitchen's done. Uh, now what I need to do is throw down some tables and a bench. Oh, great. We just ran out of power. Uh, how did you die already? Um, I guess we gotta build a capacitor. Yeah, there we go. Okay, capacitor up there. That should be enough power. Hopefully. We have 14 hours before the prisoners come here. Uh, let's see. What what else can we do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what good is a prison without a prison warden? Oh, good lord. Let's go to staff and here- uh, warden. Okay, so let- A thousand dollars? What kind of crap is this? <laughs> Why are you so expensive? Uh, requ- He- not only does he cost a thousand dollars, he requires an office. Y you sir, you need to be locked up in this prison. You're a thief. You know what, Warden? We're gonna put your office back here. Back of the prison, nobody sees you, you thief. <laughs> okay, there we go. We have his, uh, his office now. Yeah, dude, so check this out. I redid this back area back here. And, uh, here's the Warden's office right here. And then we have a staff room right here for, uh, all the lazy workers that want to break. So, <laughs> so there we go. We have a staff room Warden's office. And we have 13 hours before the prisoners arrive. Is there anything else we need to prep for? I really don't want these dudes causing a riot. Yeah, I guess what we could also do so the inmates don't get uh, angry and kill each other. <laughs> let's build a yard for them to run around and play in like a bunch of dead dogs. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's gonna be a, a fenced-in area. And then can we- can we put a basketball goal up or something? Uh, I- I don't know. Yeah, so it looks like the only entertainment I can give them is a weight bench. Like, I need them to get stronger. Well, I guess they could use their strength to beat up the thief warden. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, let's put these here. There you go. Have fun working out. Uh, and then we have to designate this area as um, a yard. There we go. Yeah, I think our prison's ready. It's looking good. We have, we have our holding cell. We have storage up here for all our leftover materials. We have a cafeteria. I think we're ready. Eight hours before the inmates arrive. All right, here we go. Ten minutes left. Eight prisoners are inbound. Okay, here we go. Seven. I right, speed up. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, they should be coming. Uh, oh, and I just got thirty-six hundred dollars for taking in prisoners. So that's how you get a crap ton of money. Uh, where are they at? Oh, here they are. Oh, here's the prisoner. Oh, crap. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't come yet. Don't come. Yet. Okay, staff, we got to hire guards. Okay, hire uh, one, 500 apiece. Three, four, five guards. Uh, and we also need to hire a cook so we can feed our prisoners. Uh, okay, here are the prisoners. Fletcher. Stavro Pablos, Blackbeard, oh lord, uh, Batty, uh, oh, look at this, the guards are grabbing the prisoners and bringing them into the hole, look at this, oh, that is awesome, alright, there we go, all the inmates are in the holding cell, uh, inmates, welcome to, uh, Azkaban, Sure. <laughs> Welcome to Azkaban. Uh, okay, so what we need to do, so we have uh, in the top left corner, it's saying to feed all the prisoners. And look, the cook over here, oh, look at him. 
He's going ham over here. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, so he's cooking for the prisoners. Guards, wait. Why are you outside the prison? Go in here and look in the toilets. Make sure they don't have any contraband. Why are you outside? What am I paying you for? Oh, check this out. If I click on uh, one of these uh, things in the room, we can tell all the guards to search the cell block. Look at this. All the guards are going in. They're searching the cell block. They're looking for, like, knives and uh, drugs and stuff like that. Oh, look. She's looking in the toilets. Oh, she's searching Strava Popu. Uh, are they going to find anything? Don't let us find anything. Oh! What is this? Oh! One of the guards just found booze on Ellison. R really, Ellison? You know what, homie? You know what, Ellison? I got something for you. Okay, so here we go. What we need to do is, uh, hey, Ellison, you, you messed up, homie. Let's create another hallway going up uh this way right to there okay um i guess yeah that's long enough right there okay so what we need to do hold on let me set this up okay so there we go the last thing we need to do is let's go to rooms and then select solitary confinement and let's designate this one block area as solid <laughs> Solitary confinement. Ellison, you just messed up, homie. Don't ever bring. Oh, look at this. They're going to get him. Look at this. <laughs> oh, poor Ellison. <laughs> Ellison is now in solitary confinement. For one whole day for bringing in alcohol into Azkaban. Ellison, you're not going to like this very much, homie. Anyways, dudes, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys want me to continue this series, let me know. Either hit that like button down below or tell me to imprison more prisoners in solitary confinement. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll talk to you dudes next time.